guys, it's Matt. I want to go ahead and test out a new antivirus program or all around anti malware program called 360 Total Security. It's a lot more than just an antivirus, but that's all I'm going to be looking at. Uh, 360 Total Security has got like a huge, huge following on, on the net. Um, it is uh, made by a Chinese company, which gives me a little pause just because of the fact that you know you always hear about the Chinese government basically being in any single business in China and they have no option around that. But who knows? <laughs> the United States government's probably the same way, so who, who knows? Anyway, besides all that, uh, this uh, is an antivirus with five different scan engines. Uh, let's see what they are. They're down here. I just installed it. This is version 8. Uh, the 360 Cloud Engine. Okay, System Repair Engine. The QVM whatever engine. Bitdefender, which we all know. Or if you, a lot of you probably don't know, but it's a great engine. And uh, Vera, which is um, a pretty good engine, but with a lot of false positives. So I've had a lot of luck with it. I've, I've made some reviews on it in the past, and it's been pretty tight, pretty good. So we're going to test this out for the next oh, four or five days and see what happens. Basically, this test is going to be around, uh, I just I download probably around five, six different pieces of malware that came out just a few minutes ago. Uh, and we see if 360 can block them if it sees them, you know, uh, can it mitigate their uh, their effects, uh, things like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get busy because I'm starving. I'm waiting for my dinner and she's not home yet. So let's go ahead and turn that into an EXE. No, it's too big. Hold on. Go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. 123.exe We will drag this exe over Oh, and by the way, let's go ahead and just for the hell of it show you that everything's updated Yes, we're all updated All right, we'll drag it over here Our attempt to this doesn't always work for me, which makes me mental. Okay, I might go mental. Because that means I have to reboot a bunch of virtual machines, and it takes time. Damn it. Hold on, let me try this one. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be back. All right, so I have rebooted and... Looks like I can copy stuff, so let's go ahead and drop this guy. Okay. Detected. Remove. All right, next we have a zip file. There we go. And it is a, oh, look at this. This is the new um, Crypto Wall. Uh, it came out today or yesterday. Crypto Wall 4. It's a JavaScript file that is a .doc file or disguised as one. So basically, this guy will <clears throat> download if you weren't on a, uh, oh, well, I already detected it. <laughs> If, if you weren't on a virtual machine, it would download CryptoWall version 4, which is um, annoying. I just posted something about that on my uh, Facebook page. Yeah, it's already Actually, it's already doing it. Look at that. Yep, it is trying to. Interesting. All right, move on. Come on, buddy. So yeah, if this virtual machine gets busy, it's really hard to copy stuff over. There we go. 
Uh, I can hear my fans kind of spinning up on my host computer, so it's it's getting all bothered. A lot of a lot of activity going on. Uh, I couldn't even extract it. It was detected. Confirm. Go away. Oddly enough, these do not go away. Hmm. So there's a scan going on, so I can't interrupt it. That's sort of weak. I don't know. I really wish the real-time scanner would say, oh, that's bad, bye, and just get rid of it. But anyway, let's move on to this file. It's a dot .doc file that I can't open because I don't have a reader. Uh, maybe the maybe the the uh, full scan would detect it. Um, let's see. I have uh, some kind of UPS invoice. I believe that was a dot .zip. Came off one of the email servers I manage. I'm not positive. Yeah, might have been um, <clears throat> an exe. Um, anyway, that's pretty interesting. That uh, wow, was it found here? Hmm. I don't know if this new crypto wall actually works on virtual machines or not. I don't, I don't think it ever did. Maybe it does now. Because we're getting a whole lot of CPU action. Alright, well, I don't really want to bore you guys. <clears throat> I mean, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, I am going to go ahead and let this finish scanning and see what was found for today. I'm going to pause that, though. Okay, well, it ran a full scan. I didn't ask it to. Let's see if it, what it found. Looks like documents and settings. GIF, 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 GIF. Nothing crazy. All right. Uh, well, that's enough for today because I got other things I got to do. Uh, well, actually, before I quit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter right now. I'll go ahead and right click all this stuff and say scan. I love right click and scan. Any any antivirus that has a right click and scan, I just love that. You know, in case you're curious about something, bam. You don't have to set up a scan, scan a directory, something like that. So I have all this stuff. It leaves this new crypto wall sitting out here. And this guy, another exe. Oh, did it? It detect that? Did it? No? Wait. Yeah. It ignored him. Obvious virus, basically. So that's kind of weird, but uh, yeah. Um, it's it's really hard for antivirus these days to catch stuff that, you know, comes out within just a few minutes. Or seconds, whatever. Anyway, hey, I did get a new patron subscriber. Buck, sir. Thank you for that awesome photo. Uh, if you'd like to donate a dollar to me making these videos, even though they suck and the production value is horrible, uh, please do. I, it will help me to make more of them. Keep me very happy and like morale up and stuff like that. So, uh, Anyway, I will talk to you guys uh, possibly this weekend. I feel myself getting sick. I was around everyone at work today who was sick. Uh, my wife is sick. So my nose is getting stuffy. I don't know. I might throw up some kind of video uh, uh, this weekend. I've got a bunch of things that I'm kind of fired up about. Um, kind of off topic from uh, this, though. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.